I'm Dr. Aaron Gaines with Analogics Outdoors, and we're here in southeast Iowa. It's early October, and we're on Lee and Tiffany Lukoski's farm. I've yeah. got Lee here with me this morning. Really excited to be here. I wish I was up here hunting, but we're talking <laughs> about food plots because we uh, actually set up a really large food plot test site on Lee and Tiffany's this year, and we've got three different test plots, and we're standing over uh, one of the brassica plots now, uh, but super excited about this. This food plot is really second to none in terms of the test plot you think about the size and scale of this testing you know we, we talk about you know testing one or two varieties a lot of times when you talk about companies that are doing testing we've got 30 different varieties of beans yeah, we've got just, 30 just right different here. varieties of brassicas 30 different cereal grains i mean this is very extensive testing in terms of i don't know of any any company that is doing it on this size and scale in terms of food plot testing i think that's one of the things that really speaks to analogics and working with you and Tiffany is the fact we're testing these products on, on our own farms across multiple states. You know, Mark's got his farm in Minnesota. We're testing there. We're testing here in Iowa. I've got down in Southern Missouri. Southern so Missouri. we really got a big swath yeah. from, you know, Northern stuff down to the Southern stuff that yeah. we're doing the same things on. And the nice thing, you know, we get in the brassica plots and some of the, the cereal grains. That's where we have done some side-by-side -side testing against our competitors. You know, we right. get that question all the time is how do you compare to your competitors and so we're doing that, that right research this year and so um and that may force us to get better right we we want that for competition sure. and so for sure and we're willing to change if we need to change and right uh, if somebody has something that's better than us we'll we're gonna make sure we find something that that that's working better like a lot of these test pots over there are, are uh stuff that i've never planted even before like the kales and different stuff like that that i've never even heard of some of those and you're like hmm Man, they really grew well in some of these harsh conditions, but now we just see how much the deer like them. Yeah. So that's kind of what you want to find is what's the, is there that secret plant out there that you know you didn't know the deer loved until you find yeah. until you test it and find yeah. out. So yeah. we don't know what we don't know. Right. Exactly. So exactly. We'll let the deer tell us what they like. But that's it. That's what's so nice about working with Analogics too. I mean, we're we're making all the decisions on what we're putting in these blends. So, and, and like I said, once we have it, since you have like the perfect 10 or pro brass, cause whatever, that doesn't mean we won't change it for next year. Absolutely. For sure. We're always, every year we'll be doing this kind of stuff. We're always trying to evolve and make it the best that it can possibly be.